So we're going to keep solving simultaneous equation by elimination. As you could see, what we learned yesterday was the variables, most of the variables, they have the inverse operation. In this case, we don't have that. So what I'm going to do is the following. I have x and x, right, on both sides. So this is my equation A, and I have equation B. I must make one of this equation, I must change it to a negative, to the inverse operation. So the easiest one for me to do is equation A. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to just multiply it by a negative one and a negative one, which at the end, I will have the same answer because whatever you multiply by one will give you the same answer with the only difference that I'm going to have a negative. So now this will become, my equation A now becomes a negative X, negative and positive will be negative Y equals two negative 20. So it's already changed. It has changed already from there. I'm just going to write X plus 5Y equals to 68, right? Once I have that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to eliminate, keep in mind, you're going to eliminate either X or Y. It's always going to be one variable. So in this case, we're going to eliminate negative effects and positive effects. There we go, it's gone, right? When I have a negative and a positive, I'm going to subtract. This will give me equals to a positive for y. And when I subtract 68 minus 20, that will give me equals to 48, right? From there, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just follow the same steps as Equation. I'm going to divide this by 4, and I will divide this by 4. This goes away. My y will be equal to 12. I already have my y. All I have to find right now is just my x. So now I'm going to use my equation b. This equation b. I'm going to rewrite it exactly the same way that it's here. I have x plus 5y equals to 68. Now my y becomes 12. That's my y. I'm going to multiply that, bring everything down. So now I have here 5 times 12 will give me equals to 60, right? X plus equals to 68. Inverse operation, inverse operation, negative 60, and negative 60 x will be equals to 8. So once again, what you're going to do is that if you don't have the inverse operation of one of your variables that are like terms, make sure that you find the inverse operation by multiplying by a negative 1. Negative 1, whatever you multiply by a negative 1, will always give you the same number. The only thing that it will change is the integer. Now look at this equation here. This equation is a little bit different because here, I have, actually, my terms, they're not any like terms, I mean, they are like terms, but I don't have the same numbers. So what I'm trying to find is my greatest common factor of the one that is easier for me to change. Since this already has the positive and the negative, I'm going to start with this. You see this has a 60? I wanna make this also a 60. I wanna make this number a 60, and the best way to do that is to multiply this equation by three. What I do on one side, I must do on the other side. Why by three? Because just keep in mind that I want to change this 2D, negative 2D, into a 60. Because they already have the inverse operation. So what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to rewrite my equation B. So I have to use my distributive property. Three times six will give me equals to 18C. Three times negative 2D will give me equals to negative 6D. And 22 times three will give me equals to 66. So I change that. Now I'm going to rewrite my equation A. I'm going to rewrite it as 3C plus 6D equals 
to 18. Now I have two light turns with inverse operation. I'm going to do exactly what I have learned from the beginning, which is I'm going to eliminate one of the variables. I'm going to continue with 18c plus 3c. That will give me equal to 21c equals to 14 here, right? 84. I know that I have, I'm going to use the same thing. This is multiplication, inverse operation of multiplication is going to be division divided by 21. In this case, C will be equals to four. Once I have my C, now I need to find my D because remember that we must find both, both variables, C and D. So I'm going to get the equation A and I'm going to rewrite Equation A, which will be 3C plus 6D equals to 18. I'm going to rewrite the same way that this there. C, right here, is equals to 4. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to multiply this by 3 plus 6D equals to 18. 3 times 4 will give me 12, plus 16 equals to 18. From there, we know already how to follow, steps to follow, to solve equations. So this is negative 12, inverse operation, negative 12, inverse operation, 16 will give me equals to 6, divided by 6, divided by 6, D will be equals to? Mm -hmm. One. So now I have my C and I have my D. We're not going to check yet. We're not going to solve how to check yet, but this is the way that we're going to solve. By elimination. Okay? So, any questions so far? Yes. Yeah. 